So like I said, I have my socket on the bolt with my torque wrench and you can see there's a rope going in to the spark plug hole for holding that piston where it's at, restricting the crankshaft from turning and the pulley and then I could turn this bolt right off. Now, I would make these videos so you could see the work in action, but it doesn't make sense to do so because when you look at the YouTube views, you say this guy like he's a retard or something like, why doesn't he get more views? Maybe people don't like what he's doing. Maybe it's not kosher. It's not good. It's not professional mechanic. Well, everybody have their way in doing a work. And I'm sure you do. So you don't really have to listen to me. You could try your own way. So this is the bolt. Now, once you get this bolt out, you're going to have to put it back in. Because that is what your pulley tool is going to have to ajar itself to for removing the pulley. Now, in the video description, you're going to see more. But you just need to bump this pulley off a little bit. And then it's going to come off completely. You don't need to pull all of it off from what I have experienced since I've removed it more times than fingers on my hand. In the process of removing this crankshaft dampener, you could see up in there during the pulling procedure, a piece of the casting was broke out of that hole. So you have to be careful removing this pulley because it could be frozen in there that piece of the casting laying right there on the side of the pulley it will be preferably that you heat up this area right here with a butane torch to allow the metal to expand and then begin pulling on the tool see that there don't want that if that is to bust out you're gonna have to remove the engine from the compartment take off the oil pan get that crankshaft out and then try to remove this pulley so be careful when you're doing this that is a piece of the casting that broke off that right there broke off from up there 